My name is Stephen Joshua Sondheim. Hello, I'm Stephen Foreman. And I'm Rebecca Hanauer. And I'm the director of Sondheim on Sondheim at Silhouette Stages. And I'm the stage manager of Sondheim on Sondheim at Silhouette Stages. And, and this is Silhouette on Sondheim. You know, when you get started in musical theater, you, you hear his name with this sense of reverence. Uh, he's just so idolized within the musical theater community. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, when I, when I started doing musicals in high school, it was very much like, oh, sometimes music is so difficult and it's so it's so challenging. And I'm like, I like difficult and challenging things. I'm an ambitious 14 year old. I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, let's do something challenging. I, think that I love Sondheim um, because of his complexity. Exactly. It's not necessarily a challenge. It's 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 deep emotional complexity, mm -hmm. which really brings out the um, the humanity in the work. Right. And as an actor, as and a, myself, but also as a director, it's lovely to delve into that humanity and to pull out, you know, all of that. And we wouldn't be able to do that without someone like Stephen Sondheim. Exactly. Uh, so Sondheim on Sondheim is uh, the final uh, review um, that was put together of Stephen Sondheim's work. There are many other reviews out there. There's um, uh, putting it together. There's, um, I'm trying to think of a couple. Um, side by side. Side by side by Sondheim. Um, um, I can't remember all of the ones that he did, <laughs> honestly. But um, I love it because I actually call it a more of a docu-musical than a musical. Um, it actually is a collaboration of Sondheim archival footages over the expanse of his career. Um, and it really delves deep into the, the person of Sondheim. Mm -hmm. uh, not just his works, because I mean, his works are amazing, but we always touch on those whenever we talk about Sondheim. This show actually gives you the opportunity to get to know who Stephen Sondheim the man was. Um, a little bit into his, uh, his life story, and it's all told through those archival videos uh, up on the screen. So Sondheim is actually narrating his own story. He's a character in He's the a show. Character. Exactly. He's a character yeah. in the show. After his passing, I really wanted to uh, take some time uh, to give the audience, as well as our performers, an opportunity to dive deep into Sondheim's work. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that this is a really nice way to do that. Um, the show itself uh, spans his entire career um, uh, from his uh, very first show that he wrote uh, when he was in prep school, um, all the way up until his uh, final uh, perform or final show that he uh, was around for, um, and uh, yeah, it just features a lot of fantastic music. We have a um, uh, eight piece live orchestra that's going to mm -hmm. be on the stage, mm -hmm. and we have eight performers. So eight eight performers, eight musicians, um, and it's just going to be a, a fantastic evening. You know what I'm really excited for the audience to see is the Act Two opener, God. It's called God because Sondheim is considered this reverent figure in musical theater. He is, in a sense, a deity to some people in musical theater. And so it's, it's cut with these videos of Sondheim at home, just talking about how he likes, well, how he likes to write laying down. So that way when he wants to, he can take a nap. Yeah. I, How relatable is that? <laughs> you can't take yourself seriously when you're writing a song about yourself being God. Right. You know? But it, at the same time, it still touches on a lot of the subjects that we as musical theater and Sondheim fans mm -hmm. like attribute to, to Exactly. Sondheim. Yeah. Exactly.